morning. I just wanted to give a tip for the day. I have been looking at a lot of my clients and a lot of their needs and I have noticed that probably 70% of my clients have thyroid problems. And I feel like this is something that most women go through at either a particular age or they have a condition in their life. And over the last little bit, I've had to do a lot of research as to ways to eat, tips to have when you have thyroid problems. So today I wanted to give everybody just a couple of guidelines of things to avoid. When you have a thyroid or a hormone imbalance, the top two foods that you need to take out of your diet are gluten and dairy. And when I first tell people this, they kind of roll their eyes and they get super stressed out because they feel like it eliminates their whole entire food groups. So just a few guides. When you're taking out gluten, it doesn't necessarily mean you can't have any grains at all. It just means that it needs to be gluten free. So instead of having wheat pasta or bread or tortillas and things like that, you want to stick more to oatmeal, brown rice, brown rice pasta, or you also have an option to find a lot of tortillas and crackers and bread that are made with almond flour that tastes just as good, if not better, in my opinion. And the best part about this is it's not only now eliminating gluten out of your diet, but it's now eliminating all of the preservatives and extra ingredients that your body doesn't know how to digest and break down in all of these extra foods. So now you know that your body is getting actual carbs that it's going to burn and utilize for energy throughout your day versus it just storing and turning it into fat. So tip number one is to avoid all gluten out of your diet. And if you need more ideas or suggestions, just feel free to message me. Um, tip number two is dairy. Dairy is basically the devil for women when it comes to trying to lose weight and having had plateaued. We don't realize how many fillers are put in dairy products in order to mass produce. Most people aren't actually um, lactose intolerant. They most likely have allergic reactions to the preservatives and the chemicals that are put in dairy products. So I my whole life thought I was lactose intolerant and it really just turned out that I couldn't handle all the preservatives that were in them. So my, my tip for you is to eliminate dairy as much as possible and when you do, just make sure it's completely organic. Um, that way you will be able to get your body to a point where it's using that food instead of storing it. And it's not holding on to all those extra chemicals and it can use the food it's the way it's meant to be. The biggest thing that I've taught all of my clients is that food is fuel. I, I, I also view it all as entertainment, but the reality of it is it's completely fuel. So if your body is not converting that food for a fuel source, it's just going to store it. Um, it doesn't really matter how little or how much you eat. What matters is how much your body is burning. So there's my little tip for the day. I want you to know that taking those food groups, I've made a lifestyle change out of it. It seems a lot harder than it really is. And I challenge you that if you have some kind of thyroid or hormone imbalance, or even if your body's kind of hit a plateau, to try and make those changes and, and give your body the opportunity to burn the food that it is supposed to instead of start storing it and see what happens. So have a fantastic day. The sun is shining and it's blaring in my eyes, but that means it's a day for all of us to be happy. So I, yeah. And again, just message me if you have any more questions or need any extra help.